हाय गाइस वेलकम टू द एट्स चैप्टर ऑफ आर ह्यूमन फिगरेटिव ड्राइंग व्हिच इज ड्राइंग द नेक ड्राइंग द नेक दिस इज गोइंग टू बी वन ऑफ द मोस्ट सिंपल लेसन एंड मसल ग्रुप इन आर ह्यूमन फिगरेटिव ड्राइंग सो लेट्स Let's start with this chapter and again, guys. I I I hope you are holding your pencil far away from the tip, and far away from the tip. Try to make your strokes a little bit fluent. That's it. So let's let's get started, and I won't be, we won't be learning a lot of like deep muscles. you know constituting our neck uh, neck uh, neck muscle group so we will just learn one or two muscles which are the most important one so f- usually the shape of our neck we consider it as a cylinder right cylinder but this cylinder is should be little bit big from the upper upper side and little bit you know smaller at the lower end little bit smaller and don't make your neck like straight like this it has a little curve you know the cylinder has a little curve and this will be the shape of the neck and there is a, a very important you know bone which is called clavicle bone you know you might know it as uh, as collar bone you all maybe a lot of people call it collar bone so its shape is like this you know like if we if we try to make it in a simple shape something like this similarly here right and this is actually joint it's actually above of above this bone which is called sternum this is the entire bone which is called sternum this part is called the manubrium you don't have to remember any of these thing names i'm just telling it here so you, all you have to know is the shape you know regarding these bones so this part is not important just remember this manubrium part actually this is how our you know rib cage is right this is our rib cage human rib cage and this is how you know sternum is located it start with the neck at the bottom of the neck and ends at the rib cage so all we have to know the uh, all we have to know or and understand the shape of the sternum which is something like this right something like this now the most important muscle in entire neck is the sternocleoid mastoid and the thing with this muscle is this is also cylinder but again its shape would be little bit you know like this a uh, little fat from the upper end and at the lower end this thing is this cylinder is little bit narrow and it actually joins at the sternum similarly here also here also something like this so this is the most important muscle it's called sternocleoid mastoid there is another cell we can there is like the throat area which we can consider as cylinder and it's something like this it's something like this right underneath sternocleoid mastoid and 
the females doesn't have adam apple or two bumps so male has you know two bumps in their uh, uh in their throat and they can be you know visualized as little bit they have shape like this something like this and there is another bump this one is little bit cylindrical you know it's like this so what happens is when you know you see the side view then in this cylinder this one looks more like this and this one looks like this in the these become very prominent in male neck so you don't uh, i'll say don't be you know like very very specific about this right now but you should know this uh, these are also you know constituent parts of neck muscles and another important muscle uh, you know in uh, is actually underneath this sternocleoid mastoid it's it's actually visible when you see the extreme angles right when you see the extreme angles so okay so our neck is getting little bit of you know i told you it's not going to be that complicated it's a bit complicated now but i will make a very you know i will make a neck for you and then you will realize it's nothing the most important muscle is this guys sternocleoid mastoid there is the cylinder underneath this thing which is the throat clavicle and sternum is very very important so just remember to make this thing from from this class in your you know human figurative studies and this is this is nothing actually this comes from the back muscle which is the trapezius so another important thing is that you know the placement of the neck so see if this is the head right if this is the head and the extreme angle i'm making and suppose we have a head like this so what happens in a head like this the neck is actually little bit in the skull and uh, uh, at the little at the top you know lit, little above if you see it you know if you will visualize it from the front part from the back side of the neck it is actually situated little bit you know at the top of the little bit more you know you have to place it little bit uh, uh, somewhere here in the skull instead of here right so little bit here that is like a very important thing to know if you make your head from the you know back side try to practice it from the front side because sternocleoid mastoid is more visible there and it will you will the our aim is to understand the muscle group so try to take references which have you know details uh, with i'm just telling you the placement from the upper from the posterior view or the back side it's it's located somewhere here in the skull somewhere here in the skull okay anyways so let's let's do a you know study now uh, like a small study so that you will understand how to make it this is the guy his i think a lot of his muscles are quite visible which we want to study so 
what we have to first do is okay i'm not going to make the entire face i will just draw the uh neck muscle sorry so this is the face and but i have to make like little bit of you know primary drawing so that we can put our neck inside this guy's you know head and skull so this is the head this is the head he's looking a little bit in this direction actually so see as i told you this is the jaw line right this is the jaw line i hope you are practicing your heads also like these these kind of small studies helps a lot so now what we have to do we have to place our neck so neck is placed some somewhere like this you know it's a cylinder as i told you it's a little bit bigger you know from the top part from the bottom part it's little, it narrows down at the bottom something like this and this guy neck seems to be quite big <laughs> and right anyways so now we have we will make we'll place the sternum sternum is somewhere here in this example is somewhere here try to make it in three dimensional kind kind of space and then the don't copy the reference just understand the you know muscles and bones the and we are learning anatomy here and this is the clavicle bone this is the clavicle bone right uh this clavicle bone is above actually the sternum right uh similarly over here also somewhere something like this because of foreshortening you can't see much of the clavicle bone at the right side of your drawing so we have made the sternum and i'll just darken this thing a bit too so that you will know the shape more right similarly here and now comes the this you know the throat is another cylinder right inside our big cylinder there is another cylinder over here and now you can see the you know the two bumps in the mail so as i told you we have to visualize it so the shape is something so this time little bit of foreshortening is happening so this is the shape actually and this cylinder is not like you know completely it's a little bit like this right and this is the shape of the pump i will choose another colors so that you will see more oops we green so this is the shape of this pump there is another bump over here this one is like cylinder you know the can kind of a shape which we used in the for the lips as well now comes the sternocloid mastoid so sternocloid mastoid i forgot to tell you it actually ends at the tip of the you know ears if this is the ear so this bigger you know the thick part of the sternocloid mastoid will end somewhere here and as you already know the sternum it 
at the bottom it ends at the sternum similarly this one will be like a little bit full foreshortening is happening so not this big so this goes like this at the back side of the neck and this is like an this is the another deep muscle actually which you can consider as surrender again this one is not very important for now i mean you can i will say just make this one also it's not very tough so this is this should have been a little bit more thicker so sorry so this is going to be like this something like this and maybe a cylinder the inner cylinder will be a little bit bigger so that's it guys and uh, this is like the anatomy of the neck and if we have to ha and now the thing is you know we have to like make it into and we have to do a little bit of shading and understand how this anatomy helps us in making figurative drawing so i will just lower down the opacity so that things will become more easy so right this is the this is the head this is the head which we are using and this is the head make random strokes like this it's they are very very they gives lot of energy to your drawing so it ends here so now you know your your neck is this right now you know your neck has shape something like this so so what you will do is see you can spot now you can spot this this part right in your reference you can see also this attachment over here and how you you know this adams apple or this bump there are two bumps and how the shape you know is coming out like this now you already understand this thing so this is why anatomy is important and when you give shading you can give more definition to your drawing so this is the sternocleoid big thick sternocleoid muscle right this this is the muscle here is also sternocleoid mastoid some another deep muscle here so the clavicle bone is here over sternum and yes so take your time don't be you know since you now you have like lot of things to put in your drawing don't don't be in hurry and don't make things for the sake of making i will do like more shading and let's give more definition to this thing and then we'll wrap up so you know i'll just give a you know some tones now so that you will understand bit more just giving it for the sake of with tones try to free you can also use charcoal in your drawing it's a good practice if you don't have it's a quick medium so, so you can see in our example also like how this part is little bit you know darker and there is a there is this bump 
bump over here and how this thing when it's attached here now this part bit, right and a little bit of gradation you have to show to show that you know that cylindrical kind of space and then this sternocloid mastoid this is your sternocloid see in our drawing there is more you know definition and shading if you will see the example the example looks a little bit different this is the deep muscle this that you know part and just so this is clavicle right this is the clavicle and this is the clavicle don't be hesitant to make strokes like this it's all right and see now you can see you know how anatomy helps i'll just tone down the unnecessary details a bit so see like to give more definite see to give more definition to our neck and So that's it guys this is our neck try to you know follow these chapters the way i'm telling you you will definitely see some and you know uh, progress and a lot of improvement in your drawing skills as well it will definitely take time depending how much you know practice you are doing so try to give if you give little bit of shading that also you know that is that practice is also good for for you so i hope you learned something in this chapter in next next chapter we will most probably do you know either deltoids or uh, pectorialis major which is the chest muscle i will think about it and i will see you soon guys bye bye